The job, Tony, of a, of a congressperson is to explain to their colleagues, both in the House and the Senate, and I think also in the White House, what is needed, what, in this case, agriculture-wise, what the farmers need, what the farmers want, and what we can do in Congress. That is an important thing. The far, the, the, many of the people in Congress are not farm related. There's a, there's a high amount, but we have to realize that only 1% of us really are farmers. But a good third of our nation or more is involved in agriculture and other related areas. So we, we need to get the government out of the way of the farmer first and foremost. We need to allow us to get out there and work. We need to have our taxes cut just like everybody else needs to have their taxes cut. Farmers need to have the death tax pulled away because generations of farmers can work four or five generations and someone dies and all of a sudden the government comes in and confiscates their land and the family farm, the family business is gone. We need to be on an equal par with other countries. If we're going to have have treaties with other countries. We need to have the treaty where the American farmer is treated fairly. With the treaties we look at now and in the past, most of those are in favor of our competitors overseas. And it seems like everything else is in favor of other people. We look at farm inputs. The farmer always seems to get the short end of the stick. The price of commodities come down, but the price of inputs don't come down. The price of fertilizer doesn't come down. Prime example, back in 1991, I was paying about $79 a ton for anhydrous ammonia. Went up to almost $1,500. Now it's probably down the range of six or 700. But the price of natural gas is down at or below what it was in 1991. And natural gas is the single product that's used to make anhydrous ammonia. Same thing with our genetic, our genetic modified seeds. Those are phenomenal. When I was a youngster, we used to get 70, 80 bushel of corn per acre. A real bumper crop was 100. This past fall, I got 241 bushels average on my farm, 15% moisture. Two years ago, I got 249 bushels, 17 point mo points of moisture, and that is a non irrigated land. We've come a long way, but we need, the farmers need to be treated fairly. The farmers need to make a profit. People look at farmers and they say, look at that huge gross income that farmer has. Well, that farmer may sell a million and a half or $2 million worth of cotton or corn or cattle. But when the farmer starts accounting up how much he or she has made, there might not be anything left. 